guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today feels very like autumnal. I don't know what's going on, especially when I'm wearing this colour of shirt. I don't know, there's something about the weather just now. The fact I'm doing like a cosy Poundland haul and this colour, it does, it does feel cosy. So if you want to go and get yourself a nice warm cup of tea and just pretend for a second that we're in the middle of the autumn months then just do that because this is how it feels today. Anyway, I'm going to jump into this. I'm doing a Poundland haul. I went in there with the intention of getting some lady equipment. We all know how it goes. And I came out with some really good stuff. And I think that is the main thing. See with all types of shopping, pretty much you'll always find what you're looking for when you least expect it. Because I've got a few wee bargains in here that I thought would be great for the summer months if this weather actually gets a grip and gets brighter. So let's jump into it. I've got a couple of bags to show you. But if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you did that. It would really make my day. Just click the subscription button below. It means you just follow me over here on YouTube. And if you want to as well, you could follow me over on Instagram. It's at Mama Reads and also on TikTok, which is Ash Reed underscore, I think. <laughs> right, starting off strong, the thing I actually went in for the essentials of course. Do you know what? was actually kind of impressed with how much they had for us ladies in there. Um, I have actually ventured into using different forms of like lady sanctuary products. I have actually got a cup as well but I don't know there's just I feel like I've not really found my groove with it. The thing I was also going in for with it being the school holidays was a gift bag for the teacher for her gift. I never had something small enough because it's not a massive present, but I did find this little bag and that was actually a pound. And this is the thing I'm noticing more and more now in Poundland is that things are no longer a pound. So if I can remember the prices of stuff, I will let you know as we get through this. Something I got for the kids was some chalk. This was 125, I think, or 150. This is just good for them to go and play outside with um, and draw on the pavements and even on the slabs outside in the garden. But I've seen a tip where people use the chalk and they scrape it into like, basically make outside paint. Um, so you basically scrape the chalk with like a knife, put it in a pot with some water and then they mix it and it all dissolves into like a really good paint, like a chalk paint for the kids to use. And then they can basically just draw with it and then as it dries, as the water dries out of it, the like drawing that they've done appears. So that could be a really good idea if you've got little ones that can't maybe hold the chalk so well, but maybe they could use a paintbrush a bit better. Kind of a good wee tip, so I've got that for the summer. Now, this stuff I think we're actually going to go through pretty quickly. Crisps. These are two for 3 50 I think. Um, but I thought this was good because it had obviously different flavours in it and then who doesn't love what's it? So I've got some crisps for the kids. It's kind of like the food one, but wait till you see what's in the other bag because the other bag is really good. Jammy Dodgers, they were actually a pound. In other places there too. So I've got the wee packs of the kids' jammy dodgers. Throwing them over there because I'm going to put them away. And I also got some animal biscuits. The kids like these because they're just like little Freddo faces. Pack, a huge big pack of Lotus Biscoff biscuits. These are in little individually sealed bags. I think it's great because you can take them on the go with you if you're ever going out and about or if you're giving someone a coffee you can be like extra special and put a little packet then beside the cup kind of pretend you're in a cafe but these I've actually bought for making Rocky Road Biscoff Biscoff Rocky Road that doesn't sound right Biscoff Rocky Road that is the right way to say it this is honestly like my absolute favourite tray bake to make and I'm going to make it on Instagram so you guys can see it um, I'll probably upload it on here as a short as well but basically you want to melt Biscoff spreads which I've got two of them they were 125 each in Poundland which is really good for that so I've got two of these and then I've got four bars of white chocolate. You basically want to melt all of that together, pour in your Biscoff biscuits all chopped up in pieces with marshmallows. You could put in some raisins as well and then lay it all out to cool in the fridge. And it is absolutely delicious. It's so good. Um, so I'll show you how I make that over on Instagram. I thought I would give it a go. I've seen a few of my friends recommending it on Instagram and I know this is probably feels like a bit embarrassing to even speak about it on like the internet but I just thought that would be quite a nice thing to use. I've never used it before like I say but it says suitable for use during your periods so I just thought that would be fine. Now I thought that would be good for landscaping <laughs> for want a better word. I just thought that'd be quite good. So I got it and it was only a pound and I thought may as well try it and see how we got on. Does anyone else use Fempresh? I feel like even just the word of it, there's something about it that makes me feel like it's embarrassing. I think it's because my mum told me a story before where she was in company with people and someone asked to pass the Fresh, but instead they said pass the Fresh, 
and it was embarrassing for everyone all around. But everything I hear of them fresh, it reminds me of that story. So maybe that's why I feel a little bit mortified because um, I remember that the person that this happened with, oh, for God's sake, I've got my washing hanging in the background. <laughs> anyway, um, I remember my mum telling me that story and thinking it was really funny. So anyway, moving on, I got some toilet rolls. This feels like a very exposing town blinds shop. Here's my toilet roll, here's my femme fresh, here's my tampons. But I got this one, it's the Quantum Quilts. And don't good about this, my toilet roll holder's got three of the like, toilet roll slots available. And I've got three toilets to fill. So this is actually really good because I know as soon as I've done this, they're all full again and I don't have any like things to store away. So yeah, I've got these. Okay, so moving on to cleaning stuff. I've not really bought new cleaning stuff for a while, but when I seen these and the price of them, I was like, wait, I'm definitely getting them because they were all a pound each. Now, I was really desperately needing new cleaning cloths and when I seen all of this range kind of sitting beside each other, I was like, this is perfect, right? So, basically, what we've got is this pack of two scrub cloths. So, these are microfibers, but they've got like these ribbed details and that part is kind of a little bit more of like a plasticky material rather than the microfiber, but I can imagine they're really good for cleaning surfaces just with the fact that they do have a wee bit of like a, a wee bit more abrasive I think they'll be really good for cleaning down things like the kitchen and stuff like that so I've got two of these it's like a yellow and an orange one and that was a pound the company is called Pro Clean by Deluxe and then I also got this is, is this by the same brand this is the same brand right so this one's also the same brand this is a microfiber window cleaning cloth. Now, do you remember before I was speaking about the Home Bargains ones that are like, I think they're 49p now. They're like a kind of green colour and I absolutely love them. These are the same kind of material. It's two cloths, one's white, one's blue, same fabric and these are one of the ones that you can use just with water to clean any of your windows, glass, any of your mirrors, things like that. But I just love the fact that I can keep this somewhere and just literally add water to it and clean down, especially having the dog. So this is really, really good to have. And especially for us having the bedside mirrored tables as well, the bedside tables, these are great to have handy. Then this company is different. These are called Does It, Dust It, I want to call it. Does It is the name of the company. These are like, well, one's like a duster and one's a bathroom cloth. So the duster one, it lets you like feel it here. They're quite fluffy just to reduce the spread of bacteria. So this is meant to be like a polisher, no smudges, it cleans and shines and it's like a duster like I said. So I can imagine using this probably dry to get a lot of dust off areas for things like my bedside drawers, they do gather dust a lot. Maybe just use that to get the dust off first and then use the glass cleaning cloth to kind of like polish it. Although it does say you can use this wet as well. So there's no need for any chemicals, you can just use them with water or you can use it with your surface spray. So kind of another good one and the fact that's only a pound, this is quite exciting. I can imagine people getting buzzing about these over on TikTok shortly when they hear all about it. This other one is a microfiber for your bathroom. You can see it's like slightly ribbed, but again, I think this would be really good for things like doing inside the shower, the glass in the shower, um, and the fact, well it does say here, cleans and shines baths, showers, toilets and sinks. See this kind of microfiber, I'm actually going to open it out and see what size it is. But I feel like this kind of microfiber is amazing for cleaning things like your sink. You know the fact you can just put the whole cloth in because sometimes I find that shining the sink up is sometimes easier just using a towel. But yeah, something like that is absolutely perfect for doing like your whole bath, the fact it's quite big. This here I'm actually really excited about. So I've got a soap dispenser that sits on the side of my sink in the kitchen and I really don't like it. It's plastic and I think I got it because I had it in the downstairs bathroom and I thought at least if the kids knock it over because it's only sitting on the side of the sink, at least if they knock it over it's plastic and it's not going to smash my tiles but for some reason it's managed to find its way in here and I don't like the way that it looks. So when I seen this more kind of aesthetically pleasing um, soap dispenser I thought that was really nice. But it's like a really lovely marble effect and it's got this plastic chrome top I just thought that was really nice and I'm sure this was two pounds but they also had it in black. The black was really striking because it was like a sort of like charcoal colour with like a lighter sort of off-white vein going through it. But I don't know if you can see it, it's mostly matte and then the vein that runs through it is like a kind of slightly more um, shiny look. It's really really smart. So that is going to sit in the kitchen and sort that situation out because I don't like the one that I've got just now. 
And then because I'm trying to be a wee bit more organised, I thought I would get myself a new little planner book just for things like YouTube ideas, things that I need to remember. Not necessarily like a planner, because sometimes I'm finding planners are throwing me off. Especially if I plan it out day by day what I'm doing and then plans change. I don't know, for some reason it makes me feel like I've kind of failed a little bit. So I think this is good because it means I can just write down like the night before, I'll write down, you know, Wednesday and then all the things I want to do on that day and just tick it off. Whereas when I plan too far in advance, which is sometimes what I do, I get overexcited and I try and plan all like my Instagram and YouTube content too far in advance and then if it doesn't work out that way or if something else happens, it ends up making me feel like I've not really completed it properly. So this one, I like the fact that it's lined and it has no dates on it and it's literally just a notebook. But I love the way that this looks. The fact that it's like a wee sort of like mock crock. It definitely looks expensive. And you know, I was thinking to myself, should I go ahead and use my ticket machine to even put something down the spine or something like that? You know, like ash or something like that, or like even just, I don't know, just something to personalize it like AR and little letters here, something like that might be quite nice. But it was only 2 50 and do you know what, actually, come to think of it, I probably should have got these for the teachers and put on, like, the teachers' names in the front of it with my cricket machine. As I say, not been thinking much this year, but really, really nice idea and actually lovely for even if you're planning something like, you know, a, a wedding or whatever. Nice. Right, moving on, I got some more microfiber cloths, but this time these are actually for my face. So I'm saying microfiber, are they microfiber? Who knows? It's these little sort of velvety situations. Now, I love these so much. I used to be big on face cloths, but like as in like, you know, like a usual sort of like toweling face cloth, but these are really good. I got one sent by, I'm sure it was Tanologist that sent one. It's like a huge, big, massive uh, microfiber. I don't know, was it them? I got it sent in some sort of like PR pack, but I love it and it's absolutely enormous, but it's this material. And I just think this is so good. I'll take one out the back so you can see what they look like. There's a black one, a cream one, and a sort of taupe colour in the middle there. But it's literally just like a sort of fluffy, perfect for doing like your face. You see how like just rather than being a square, this is a better shape for doing your whole face. They're so great and you can just wash them. But it's just polyester. It says you can wash them at 30 degrees and then you can reuse them again. Keep these in my bedside drawer and then whenever I'm washing my face at night time, I just find it easy to throw on all my cleanser all over my face, wet one of these and then take it all off. Now I'm sure these might have been £2, can't remember, but for three of them that was cheaper than Primark's ones and actually they're nicer colours than the ones I've seen in Primark, but really really good. Ella probably will take one of these actually as well, come to think of it, but I'm going to use this one here for mascara, the black one, because I hate when these get really really dirty. The foundation always comes off but the mascara usually stains, so really really like them, I thought they were great. I also got some socks because for some reason I just seem to constantly lose socks and me and Ella are actually able to share socks now which is crazy because she's like a size 2, 3 um, and I'm a 5. Like it won't be long before she can wear my shoes I actually come to think of it. Sometimes I buy her socks and I forget whether they're for her or they're for me. So I got more socks and I thought I'll just get ones that she'd be happy to wear as well if they end up in her drawer. Now these ones are in a size 4 to 8 but she probably could actually get away with them. 2 50 for 5 pairs. The only thing is this gives me anxiety because what if these end up getting mixed up and all the colours are different? <laughs> anyway, new socks, definitely needed them. I also got a couple of these little sheet mask situations for popping in the teacher's bags just as like little extras. This one was 2 50 it's the Garnier Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. These are amazing, really, really, really good. Then I'm doing my hair and then I take it off and see because it's got hyaluronic acid in it, it really just completely glows and plumps your skin. They are really, really good. So if you're ever looking for something to put in, do you know, just like as a small minding for somebody, it's, I think it's really hard nowadays to buy someone a small gift. I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but say for example, it was like, your friend's birthday and you don't usually buy each other presents but you'd like to get a little something for them if you get them a card and slide one of them in it it's an inexpensive gift but it's like a nice little experience for them so i really really like these and i also highly rate the foot mask from the fair mccann range it's lavender and rosemary like a spa smell really nice so i'm going to pop that in the teacher's little bag to give to them i'm sure that one was 250 and this one i think was a pound maybe two pounds but again, a really nice little thing to slot in. See, like something like that and a wee bunch of flowers. Sometimes that's like more than enough. So I thought that was lovely. Then moving on to clothes, right? 
I am always so surprised at how good the Pep & Co clothes are. Like they've always got a wee gem hidden in there somewhere. Don't get me wrong, there's some crazy stuff that goes on. There's some madness that I see and I'm kind of like, that's a bit like, you know, not my style. Fair enough. But then I see things like this and I'm like, you look like you belong in Mango. Like genuinely, wait till you see this dress. This was in the sale and I don't even remember seeing it in full price. And I got this in a 16. I don't even know if it's going to fit. I find the sizing really quite bizarre. But... First of all, let's appreciate the print. How nice is that? It's like a really nice, it's me, it's my kind of print. It's like a really nice sort of abstract. It's not even ditzy print, it's not animal print. It's somewhere in between. But it's got this really lovely shorter sleeve. It doesn't come in any, it's just literally a short sleeve, three quarter length sleeve. The side of it's got these little bow details, right? So nice. It's a collar and then it buttons down in the bottom part is a dress. It's quite short, but it is summer. Just like that with like a leather jacket or even that with a white blazer. I know it sounds a wee bit like that's random, right? But imagine that with a white blazer on and some like white heels. I think you could really pick up on the brightness of it and it would be lovely. So I got this in the sale. <laughs> Watch this again. It was nine pounds to begin with, which I think is incredible. But that's a really good price, isn't it? Nine pounds for that dress, but I got it, I'm sure, for seven in the sale. So there you go, nine quid, amazing. So I got that, because I could do with like a couple of wee, just easy ones to throw on. And then I got this one, I think this is new in, but this fabric I absolutely love. I'm sure I had, was it a dress in this material before? Or maybe a top actually, but this fabric I love. It's quite heavy and it's that sort of like, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a crinkly material, stretchy, but it's like a sort of, texture on it. It's so nice. I got this in a large. It was £14. Animal print, which I do love a bit of leopard print. And it's like short puff sleeves. Comes in at the waist, crosses over at the boobs, and then it's full length with a little tiered detail at the bottom. But I almost forgot. This just fell out of the bag. I got this little B pen. I thought this was really nice to go with my new little notebook. I think that was two pounds for that one, but it's quite heavy. Very, very cute. It's giving like Gucci vibes <laughs> with the little bee. I just, I, do you know what? I'm laughing because that's, that. I just really like anything that's got those kind of bee emblems on it. You know when people have got like really stunning front doors and the, the front door knocker has like one of those gorgeous bees on it. I just think it's so nice. So I thought that'd be lovely for with my notebook. Then moving on, I've got some pajamas now. Usually I would go to Primark and just stock up in jammies, but I've only got one set that I got this year because the rest of them, I honestly was finding it stressful looking and going, how has that set of jammies become 20 pounds when it used to be like 12 quid? Um, these ones are still 12 pounds, but they're the super soft touch. So they, as you see, 12 pounds, super soft touch, size 12 to 14. I got the shorts and top set. It was hanging up together and they just look really, really nice. I love the geometric print of these. I think it's really, really lovely. And I like the monochrome like situation with the fact that they're black and white. The top is like a wee shirt, but see the fabric of these are honestly so lovely and soft. It almost feels a bit like a gym top, but yeah, I think they're lovely, really nice. Soft, I love button down stuff. I love shirts. Shirt pajamas are my favorite. Fraser always laughs though, because I've got the Jeff Bank ones from um, home bargains, you know the ones I always wear. I wear them constantly actually, I'm surprised that they're still alive. Um, but they're like a velour material and I, oh, I wear them like nearly every time I'm doing a morning routine, I've got them on because they're my favorite pajamas. But I love anything that's buttoned down shirt. It just feels really, really smart. I don't know, it just makes me feel like nice and fresh going to my bed. So I got those ones and I've also got ones from there that are like a silk material, but the same style. So it's like the full shirt and the full trousers. And Fraser said it's like going to bed with someone wearing a straight jacket because it's like, don't come near me, I'm fully covered from neck to foot. Um, but these ones are a wee bit more summery, so maybe that'll get the seal of approval, the fact that they're shorts. So I got them and I think they're really nice. And these were 12 pounds, like I said, but really nice material. And they actually had lovely Disney ones as well, which I liked, so I might go back and get them. I'm going to clear out my pajama drawer and see you know if I do need any more. I think I've got some from last year still and to be honest if the weather's going to be anything like this I'll not be wearing shorts anywhere because it's miserable. 
Anyway, this is quite an impromptu little video, so excuse how dark it is, and also excuse that top giant in the background, that's really embarrassing, but we move. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see any more day-to-day -day stuff, then go and check me out on Instagram. It's Mamaraid on there, and also on TikTok as well. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys really soon. Let me know if you've got any bargains from Poundland recently, and if you've got any little hacks, because I'd love to see them as well. Take care, see you soon. Bye.